Pass it again. Pop the hippie, the hippie to the hip, hip hop, and you don't stop a rocket to the bang bang booty. Say up, jump the booty to the rhythm of the booty, the beat. I am Robo V, and I'd like to say hello. I got the plastic and the steel, the gears and the wheels and the motors that make me go. But first, I gotta talk about some research that's pretty fly. I'll announce it to the nation. My social interaction logic's obtained through learning by imitation. Check it out. We got some humans to perform example interactions. And when they moved and when they spoke, we discretized their actions. Keep it rocking, you don't stop. For our scenario, we used the camera shop. We used unsupervised clustering and trajectory segmentation to identify action primitives from clustered observations. And with this data, we went to head and trained the classifier to generate robot actions from the data we acquire. I learned utterance, trajectory, and proxemic formations through a data-driven process with no human annotations. And now I have learned to move to places in the room and talk about color aspects like shutter speed and optical zoom. Bang bang, the boogie to the boogie, say up, jump the boogie to the robot boogie, let's rock. You don't stop, rock the rhythm that will make your robot rock. Now so far you've heard my voice but I brought a friend along. And the next on the mic is Erika. Come on and sing that song. Check it out, I'm the E to the R, the I, C, the A, and I'm built for HRI. Say what? My silicone brings all the bots to the yard, and these reasons I tell you why. Check it out. I'm the state of the art, the top of the line, and I'm rapping to the rhythm. Yo, Robovi, you know I can learn too, with a similar algorithm. In a travel agent scenario, we collected utterance data, but it turns out that with speech alone, the challenge was much greater. You see, it's much more difficult to make predictions if you don't have spatial cues. But with a new algorithm for modeling topic, I don't have to be confused. The elegant thing is, I have no need to understand what's being said. I use metrics of co-occurrence frequency instead. With clustering, we managed to make an approximation at the current topic without using semantic information. And now I can generate behaviors on the fly. That's right. Learning from example, data-driven HRI. If you're having robot problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. But learning by imitation from human-human interactions ain't one. 